Everyone, welcome into Dodger Heads presented by DodgerBlue.com, your home of the 2020 World Series champion LA Dodgers. And on that theme, we've got a special one for you today. Jed Tuminaro from MLB Network is going to be joining us. Jed is the producer of the Dodgers World Series film, which, if you haven't seen it, is amazing. Uh, you can rent it, you can buy the digital copy, you can buy a physical copy. Dodgers World Series film, it's amazing, narrated by Vin Scully. And we've actually got a handful of copies they've given us that we're going to be giving away. So we're going to give one away on Facebook. Facebook, one away on Instagram, one away, one away on YouTube. How do you enter? Subscribe to this channel, ring the notification bell, and then stay tuned on each of those uh, avenues, and we will be uh, sending out details on how you can get it. Again, if you have not seen it, it's amazing. I'm going to show you one clip here real quick. This is my favorite piece, absolutely epic. Clayton Kershaw clip from the DVD. Then we'll get to the interview with Jed, and then uh, we got one more clip for you at the end. So enjoy this interview, and here's a clip of Clayton Kershaw. You have a lot of great experience to draw from and then some that didn't go your way. Do you draw on some of those past experiences for good or bad for this one? He's trying to shake off the narrative that other people are talking about. He's had a lot of great postseason games, but people remember the ones he hasn't been absolutely perfect on. Is there something that's just a, a little bit different than the other many big games you've been in? Oh, uh, man, I don't know. You know, I think it's just cool, right? I mean, I, yeah, I've failed a lot. I've had some success too. And just to be able to have another opportunity to do it. I mean, how many guys get to do that? I mean, how many teams get to be here three out of four times, you know? And like, I'm not, I'm not afraid of it, you know? And honestly, I'm just grateful. I really am. I'm grateful that I get another chance at it. There's not many people that get this opportunity to fail or succeed as many times as I do. All right. Well, welcome into Jed Tuminaro. He is the director of the Dodgers World Series film, also a producer at MLB Network. Uh, this is the sixth World Series DVD that he's had the privilege of producing. And Jed, we appreciate you joining us. I guess I'll just dive right in. I loved the film. I got to watch it a few nights ago. I'd love to start by just hearing kind of the process of how a DVD like this gets made. Are you watching it live and drawing things up as it goes? Do you wait till the end? Walk me through the process of making a film like this. Yeah. Hey, Jeff, thanks very much for having me. I appreciate it. And yeah, it's a little bit of everything. I mean, you are watching it live and you're there on site and we have camera crews and producers and, you know, you're kind of taking it all in and in your head, kind of seeing how you'll do it and how you'll tell the story of the game. But then for us, what we do, a big part of this, and as you'll see in the film, is all the sound we get like throughout the week. Yeah. And maybe that's part of the interviews that we do. Uh, that's press conferences. So you are watching it live, taking it in, coming up with your plan. But then as you acquire some more of your elements over the next couple of days, primarily the sound from the players, that's when the real crafting of it kind of goes um, goes into it in, in, in the edit rooms. Yeah, and, and that's one of the questions I had after watching it was, is there kind of a clip or a storyline that, that once the World Series ends, you know, okay, the Dodgers have won, we're making this. Was there sort of a clip or a storyline that you were like, okay, this is kind of the one that we want to hit on. This is the one we want to build everything out from? There's not one individual for the whole film, but often for, a, for an individual game, absolutely. So, um, you know, game one, um, for example, you know, the Clayton Kershaw narrative, yeah. front and center. We knew we wanted to, you know, build upon that story of Kershaw, this longtime Dodger, future Hall of Famer, and a great who has had some well-documented struggles in the postseason. Um, so there's that. Um, and then from a grand scale, yes. And it's, you know, this historic franchise that has been very close, that has been in this window for the past few years, but hasn't been able to get it done. And then, of course, you have um, the stuff you don't know about. Like when we went into game four, that great game four, I never in a million years would have thought that we were doing, um, you know, that Brett Phillips was going to be a big part of the film or something like that. So, you know, you have your plans. And then, of course, there's always things that happen along the way. But, yeah, we usually identify a couple things going in. And a lot of times it's how the series evolves. Yeah. You know, what, what happened the night before, what's happening as it goes along. And you go from there and then build it out as everything plays out. Well, so game four, you call it a great game. I'm not sure personally as a Dodger fan, I would necessarily <laughs> refer to that as a great game. I'm curious, like, because obviously the the end sort of consumer for this is Dodger fans almost exclusively, if not 100 percent. So I imagine sort of the process of building out the storyline of game four is kind of a challenge because obviously it, it's important. But as a Dodger fan, I'm also not like, hey, I'd love to see 20 minutes on Brett Phillips at the same time. So how, how do you guys balance that as storytellers? Yeah, no, that, that's but a great question. And that's a really great point, because 
the flip side happened in a way with the Dodgers a couple years ago. So when we were doing the one in 2018, I mean, the Red Sox won that one in five yeah. games. It was pretty much a Red Sox series. They got up 2-0. They were never really tested that much. But yet, maybe the best game of that series was the game three where the Dodgers, I think, had the 18-inning walk-off. I think it was 18. So it was Max Muncie, I believe. that. So like we were in a similar position there. We're like, this is a Red Sox film. This is for Red Sox fans. But one of the signature moments of that World Series, maybe the best game, was a Dodger moment. So that happened here, too. So you try to balance it a little bit. I mean, we knew it's a Dodger film, and maybe maybe their fans are going to just fast forward that part <laughs> or whatever. But it still was this crazy game with a lot happening. And it was kind of a Dodger game up until those final couple of moments. Yeah. yeah. So it's a balancing act. You don't want to dwell on it too much because you're right. It's for Dodger fans. But when you have something like that. And it does play into the story, right? So, yeah. like, we still had a document. Now it's two two. And how do the Dodgers respond to that? How do they? How do they come back? What What's their mentality like? So, I think it does kind of bleed well into the next game, which was how they responded, which was very well, of course. Yeah, and I think I mean, as I was watching it, I was like frustrated, but at the same time, I think that frustration led to even more joy as I'm watching Game Five and then I'm watching Game Six because you know, having lived through Game Four. Um, I, I think the biggest, I mean, if, if I'm being perfectly honest, aside from Dodgers winning the World Series, the number one draw as a Dodger fan to this was the fact that Vince Gulley was narrating it. He's been out of our lives as Dodger fans for a few years. Talk me through the process of how do you get Vince Scully on board with this? And then what does that look like? Are you guys writing a script? Does he write, does he tweak some of that stuff? I imagine he's got the narrative piece like in his blood, yeah. so... Yeah, perfect. The absolute perfect choice for it. You know, he's been there. You know, he's still so good at what he does. He's still so great at his craft. And to have the longevity to be there for all their championships. I mean, you know, when you have to combine being great at what you do and have such longevity, that combo does not happen yeah. that often where he's been there for all their championships. So, we, you know, uh, Major League Baseball helps us secure Vin Scully. We have a great writer on the film who's been I've been doing this six years. And Aaron Cohen has written all six of the films that I've been cool. part of. So he's a fantastic writer. And we wrote it before Vin. Of course, you know, when he comes on board, if there's anything he wants to change, something he wants to tweak, um, he can do that. But he, he liked the script. He was extremely easy to work with. He still sounds great. Yeah. And really, one of the only things there weren't that he kind of maybe played with a little bit, which was good, was in uh, towards later in the film. I'm not sure if I'm giving anything away. It's been out for a while. <laughs> but where he kind of puts a little first person into it, yeah. where the things he's seen. And, you know, rest of the time, he's kind of serving as a narrator, which he does great. Yeah. But in the close of the film, that's when he's kind of a narrator, but also sort of let me tell you what I've seen from my point of view. Um, and it was great to have his touch because nobody, you know, you could have had a lot of people voice it, but no one could do that part of it the way that that he can because you don't have the experience to tell it that way yeah yeah I mean just hearing Vince Scully talk about the Dodgers winning the 2020 World Series as a Dodger fan we just didn't get that I mean it doesn't there's no avenue for us to receive that prior to this video so I appreciated that um kind of along the same lines one this is just maybe a weird question for me thinking I mean you guys are including sound bites from basically every form of the broadcast of every one of these games I mean whose job is it to go listen to the Dodgers broadcast the you know all the Rays broadcast the TV broadcast all of those different ones and pick out the sound bites. Yeah, that is such a huge part of it. It's it's great to have it all because you have so much to work with. It's also the <laughs> flip side of it is it's an insane amount of inventory. And we really just have a really good production staff. There's cool. you know we have a team of production assistants and loggers, but really a lot of times it's the producers who are editing that stuff. They know how to work with all this material in such a short amount of time. And they know they have Fox broadcast, team broadcast, international. There's so much to go through. It's part of what makes it fun because you have all these ingredients yeah. to cook the meal with, so to speak. But, yeah, it's challenging to sift through it. Um, but by now, these guys are so experienced doing it that I think they kind of know where the good sources are, where to go for it. But I think that's what makes it fun. It'd be nice to hear. You know, they're all great sources. Everybody's doing those games for a reason. But I think if you just had 90 minutes of just Fox or yeah. just Dodgers or just it might be too much. So I think it's nice to have be able to intercut all those sources of audio. Yeah. Was there something that that you look back on? What was the hard I guess I'll phrase it this way. What was the hardest thing to leave out? Was there an interview or was there a clip or was there a moment where sort of it got left on the cutting room floor? You know, one of the good things about the film is it is kind of long. And, you know, we know that, but we're also like, well, if you're a Dodger fan and you've waited a long time and you're getting this film, you're probably not going to go crazy that it's 88 minutes instead of 81 minutes or yeah. so. So on this one, we get to include a lot, but it's usually game stuff. It's usually, you know, no matter how great a game is, at some point, you know, you have to make decisions. If you're not showing every run, you're yeah. not showing every home run, you're not going to show every strikeout. 
So no one incredible moment. I think we were able to document the sound that we wanted and the people that we wanted. But there might just be times where we're like, you know, this was a pretty big play. We have great footage of this. This was a great um, moment in the game or not a great moment in the games. We wouldn't leave that out. But maybe it was just a really great visual that we said, you know what? It made the game 7-1 from 5-1. to one. We're okay. We're going to leave that out. But fortunately, from a narrative standpoint, not really. Yeah. And as opposed to a lot of other stuff I work on, you're always leaving so much stuff out. It's painful whether it's stories or anecdotes or just narrative parts of the timeline. With this, because of the length we're allowed to have, we feel good about you know most of the stuff we didn't include. It was nice stuff, but it wasn't essential stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'll speak for personally. I thought the length was perfect. And like you said, I mean, if I'm watching a video about the Dodgers winning the World Series, you could have made it two and a half hours. You know, you could yeah. you could have given me that on the NLDS and the NLCS, and you could have walked me through the whole playoffs, and I, I would have been on board with it. Um, let me leave you with this last question, Jed, and I appreciate your time. And again, I appreciate the work you did. Of course. Thank what, you. What's your favorite part of being a part of this process? I mean, obviously you're a baseball fan to some degree. You're not a Dodger fan. So what's it like to make these, to be inside the bubble at a world series, like in a year like this, what was that like? I mean, the fun to me is a being there, you know, for all these being there because you, you just, you don't know what you're going to see. You know, you go in with a plan and you think, you know, and sometimes it goes to script but then you see an 18 inning game like we saw in 2018, or you see a game four like we did this year, or last year in uh, it was 2000 and I think it was 19, where like every single time we thought we knew the way the series was going, it went another way when all seven teams, road teams, won games. But for me personally, as a person that just loves the behind the scenes production, it's just putting all the pieces together like a puzzle. You know, seeing it unfold, knowing you have, we have, we're really lucky in that we have great camera people camera crews, we have great editors, we have great producers. So it's fun just collaborating and knowing you have all these different pieces. You mentioned the audio sources, whether it's players or game footage or audio sources or whatever it is, and just sitting there and having a week. It's not a long time. You know, it's about a week or so that we have to put the whole thing together, but putting all the pieces together and then taking a step back and seeing it come together is it's always fun. I mean, I've been lucky enough to do six of these now. They're all unique in their own way and they it, it never gets dull. It's always exciting to do. Well, I can tell you again, from the perspective of a Dodger fan, I loved it. Dodger fans, if you haven't seen it, please go out and get it. You can buy the DVD and Blu-ray. I believe there's a collector's edition that is either out or coming out that's got uh, way more stuff than just the 90-minute film as well. I think you can even get it digitally as well. So, Jed, I appreciate your time. Say thank you to your team for putting this on. Again, as a Dodger fan, it's something (laughs) that that we'll remember forever. So enjoy the rest of your day, and thanks, everyone, for joining us. All right, one more clip here before we go. Jed, we appreciate him joining us, but this is one more clip from the World Series film. Again, if you are not subscribed and getting notifications from our YouTube channel, make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're following us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as well, because we're going to be giving away free copies of the DVD to folks that are following along there. We got details to come, so enjoy that. Here's one last clip. and then we'll... Champions of 2020! Celebrate the Los Angeles Dodgers Fall Classic title with an official release from Major League Baseball. The best team holding a trophy high in the air. The Los Angeles Dodgers, champions of the baseball world. Oh, you're the best. The 2020 World Series documentary narrated by legendary broadcaster Vin Scully features incredible access Come on, baby, let's go. and stunning game footage. Available now on Blu-ray and DVD.